Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Right, I thought I'd make this uh, quick vlog about our cool box. I've done a bit more of an in-depth one in the past, but it was a lot longer and there's a lot of information in it. Um, that one was kind of comparing them, saying, do you really need a, a compressor fridge? Although, to be fair, I didn't have a compressor fridge in that one. Um, so it was a bit more of a kind of my take on why we have a cool box. Um, but I'm just going to fire this one up because I've had a few comments on it saying, um, kind of do I wish I put a um, actual proper fridge in and um, they're surprised I didn't and I just want to kind of do another quick test of it today it's absolutely boiling today it's about 30 degrees it's meant to be or possibly going to be the hottest uh, day this year uh, down here in South Devon we've been getting around about 30 degrees today it's been pretty hot so as you can uh, see, it's gonna really struggle this. But when I did the last test, we managed to get about 25 degrees cooler um, than the temperature we had then. So I'm hoping by doing a test now, kind of around another kind of extreme heat, or well, extreme for the UK anyway, I just wanna see how well it works. So I've got a few thermometers in this van. I've got the one here. Uh, I've also got an electric one up front and I've got one which does the, uh, the temperature for the solar panel i switched it on about an hour ago um i'm going to go and do for some photography up here of some wildflowers if you want to check that out I'll, I'll link the blog up here uh, i'll also link up to the original um cool box one as well so you can have a look at that one um so this is going to be left on for probably about two three hours now and what i'll probably do is i'll probably drive back home with it on as well to give it about four or five hours uh, run time which is about what you kind of expect to, to have it on if you're using it throughout the day. And we'll just compare the temperature difference inside to what's in the, the cool box and see how well it, it does work and whether it's actually a, an alternative to a compressor fridge. Now, like anything in life, there's pros and cons. So without going into it too much, the pros of a cool box are simply they're cost effective. This one costs about 30 pounds. Um, I fitted it in here and insulated it a bit. We will see it in the other vlog I've put up. Um, whereas a compressor fridge is going to cost you £400 or something. A compressor fridge is going to get you the same temperature as a fridge, it's exactly the same. This is only really going to get you to 20 to 25 degrees cooler than the atmosphere, the atmospheric temperature. So they're not ideal in hot countries. Um, they do have their limits. And the other downside to a cool box is they draw about four amps. So you do need a good big battery or solar panel or need to be on site really to try and keep them going. We now have a 130 amp battery on it because I upgraded it the other day and we have a 120 watt solar panel. So on hot days, that's plenty of power and this thing can run without an issue at all. Um, they do keep the cold in quite well as well. So when they're cooled down, they are pretty good in that respect. But like I say, that's kind of where the similarities end. So just to answer some of the questions really I've had, uh, the reason I didn't really want a, a compressor fridge, although don't get me wrong, I would like one, um, but the reason I didn't build one into the design of the kitchen when I, when I kind of put it together, when I ordered it and kind of built it, was simply because um, I don't drink tea or coffee. I'd very rarely have breakfast. I don't generally drink much milk. When I'm away, I tend to eat fresh stuff a bite at the time, or I tend to eat stuff that you can take camping with you that you don't have to keep cold, um, or stuff that isn't so reliant on being at a, a constant temperature. If we wanted like cold food all the time, or to put sausages in there and leave them in there and stuff like that all the time, when we would have gone for a compressor fridge. But the room it would have taken up in the kitchen um, units, I didn't think it was worth um, losing that storage space kit, considering we could have a cool box in this area, um, which a compressor fridge would not fit in, um, and still have the cupboard down the end um, free. If we had a compressor fridge, it would have had to go in the cupboard down the end here, um, which would have been taken up 
um, kind of losing one of our storage units um, or storage areas and then kind of having less storage when we go away. As I do go in it sometimes for um, 20 days or something like I did in Europe last year or we go away in it for quite a while it's more beneficial to have that extra storage than it is to lose it with something like a fridge although it would be nice to have the fridge we can eat out we can get fresh food when we're away and um, that extra storage lost is probably going to impact us more so that's kind of my thought on why um, I went with the cool box simply because it fit in here a compressor fridge wouldn't and it just allows us basically to have cool drinks um, and stuff like that without going over the top with food we can put in it so anyway I'll stop gravitating on um, I'm gonna leave that like I said now for a couple of hours I'll catch up with you when I'm back home and we'll just uh, compare the temperature difference then from inside the van um, compared to the temperature in the fridge I wanna see it now. Bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Right, I'm almost home now. Sorry if the, the image quality is a bit dark. Uh, there's not much I can do about it. Um, I'm about five minutes from home, so I'm just gonna stick um, the temperature gauge inside um, the cool box. Now, the one at the front is saying around about 24 degrees, so it is a lot cooler than earlier. It's probably pushing um, about 27 by the time I got up there earlier. We've had around about 30 degrees today. Um, at the moment it's showing um, yeah, it's at 20, about 26, 27 back here. Um, there you go, if that will expose properly, which it won't. Um, you go, which is probably about right. Um, the one there on the front is by the window, so it does get kind of the cool breeze when you're driving and stuff like that, so it's probably going to be a bit cooler there. Um, so we're looking at about 20 yeah, 27 on that one so I'm gonna stick it in the cool box now it's only gonna be in there about three minutes and when I get there I'll pull it out and we'll see what temperature we got on it then right sorry about the lighting in here it's quite dark it's 10 o'clock now and the cool box got put on around about half five so uh, it's been on for about four and a half hours it's gonna be a bit tricky for it to be honest um, We've had weeks and weeks of a heat wave in the UK. The cool box hasn't really been on, so all the stuff inside of it would have been quite warm. Most of those hours, probably a good three of those hours, the van's been probably 33, 34 degrees inside. When I checked the um, temperature gauge before I actually kind of um, left to go up to Dartmoor, it was around about 36, 37 on the, on the the gauge it's been quite hot in the van for the first few hours up there so it's not really had much of a chance it's probably only had a good two hours where it's been workable temperature now driving back um, with the sun going down it's kind of dropped down to about um, 27 like you saw a minute ago in that um, um, when I stopped off on the way back um, so yeah I'm just gonna whip it out and we'll just see uh, what we got so it's 27 when it went in um, which is about 10 minutes ago now and I just want to see um, kind of how cold it has got so um, let's have a look right it's about 10 degrees so you're probably not going to see that very well will shoot up quite quickly yeah it's gone up a bit already but basically come out bang on 10 degrees so it was 27 where it went in so it's dropped about 17 if it was in there a bit longer though I reckon it probably would get to around about 20 degrees so um, it's not too bad um, that'll give you cool drinks it'll keep most food fresh um, if you think your average 
fridge temperature, your domestic fridge is anywhere really from five to eight degrees or something like that. So it's not too bad at all really, considering the heat we've had. Um, it's shot up already to 15 and it's continuing to rise. So it just shows um, um, how warm it is actually inside the van still. So um, I'd say it's done pretty well really. Um, you can see it's only been out for a little bit now and it's kind of almost up to um, I don't know where you can see that but it's almost up to uh, 24 23 um, so yeah it's quite good really I'm quite happy with that we're almost 20 degree drop it's gonna vary depending on what your atmospheric temperature is so um, if you're in a country that's gonna get 40 degrees it's not going to be any good to you because it's still going to give you about 20 degrees. Um, but if you're in a country where your average temperature is 20 degrees, you're going to be able to get around about 5 degrees uh, with this core box, which will be fine. So they do work. Um, not as good as compressor fridge, but like you've seen for us, it works better. It gives us more space, takes up less room, and it's a lot cheaper, more budget option um, than having a compressor fridge. So. Um, hope you found it interesting. Hope that's kind of answered some of the questions for um, some of the people that saw the first video about it and um, kind of wondered why I didn't put a compressor one in. Yeah, if you've liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stick a comment up, whack it in the comment box. I uh, love reading them and replying to them, so um, put it in there. And um, I'll see you on the next one in the future. Baby, don't you worry.